Um, I mean, I was the liaison to, with, with Greg Craig for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the transition from the Obama to, I mean, from the Bush to the Obama um, administrations in that transition period. You know, typically, you know, presidential candidates, uh, even the nominees of the party, do not get the really what, what President Elect Bush memorably called the sexy stuff uh, in terms of briefings. Uh, the two candidates, I, I assume uh, Governor Romney is getting these now, the, the nominees of the party are offered intelligence briefings by career CIA people, uh, but they're more, they're analytical. They're what we used to call P and Glean briefings, which is one of the many euphemisms from CIA days. I'm trying to, trying to purge from my memory because I can't get it out of my head. But um, they're analytical. They're not, they're not operational. They're not giving a lot of uh, you know, specific uh, details about Asians and Asian operations. That only, that only happens once the election takes place. Once, you know, if we, if it's in the case of the new president, um, obviously, if President Obama is reelected, then, then this will not happen. But that's when they get the review of all the ongoing covert action programs. Uh, that's when uh, President elect Obama first got a detailed briefing on the enhanced interrogation program. I mean, you know, by that time, much of it, uh, any reader of the Washington Post and New York Times probably had about 85% of it, but he, that was his first briefing. Uh, that's when, that's when he, that's when President McKinley's typically, it's a crash course, is what I guess is what I'm trying to say. He and his national, incoming national security team have to get briefed up very quickly and get, get, um, be ready to act, um, <coughs> literally January 20th on, on threats. And there were threats on January 20th, 2009. So, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's been a frantic, I mean, it can be a, a frantic, uh, Process, but, but you know, like a lot of things about the American governmental system, it seems all screwed up, but somehow we all seem to muddle through. That's how it happens. We would always brief the incoming 